Yo, what's up guys? So today I will show you the best OBS settings to stream with a low-end PC. Um, you can use these settings to stream on Twitch or YouTube. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are on OBS. And we're going to go to our settings tab. And we're going to come here to stream. Um, this is where you actually set up like what's where you want to stream. Uh, whether it be YouTube or Twitch. Uh, I stream on Twitch personally, and yeah, so I have my service set to Twitch. If you want to stream on YouTube, you can set it to YouTube, uh, and then connect it with the uh, the key I think they give you on in YouTube Studio or Twitch Studio, uh, or you can connect your account. I just connected my account, uh, and yeah. So next, you want to come to Output. This is the this is one of the most important parts of streaming. And so you want to uh, change this to advanced. Uh, it will probably be set to simple on default, but you want to change to advanced, and then you want to come here to streaming. Uh, the encoder. Encoder, you want to keep it to x264 unless you do have a graphics card. Um, I don't have a graphics card. I have integrated graphics, so I will use x264. Some people may have the NVIDIA GeForce uh, graphics cards, so I think theirs is like NVENC or something like that. Uh, use that personally because that would be better. Uh, but in my case, I don't have a graphics card, so I'm going to be using Encoder 264. Um, rescale output, just keep it to 1920 by 1080. It'll probably be default over here. Um, and yeah, rate control. Uh, this, you want to keep it to CBR. And that, yeah, it'll, it'll probably be default. I, I think so, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, uh, the bitrate. This is, this is where, you know, this is one of the most important parts. So I will have this in the description. And yeah, so you want to, you know, test your um, Wi-Fi speed. I tested out mine. Mine is right over here, 304 download and 186 upload. So... My my Wi-Fi is like really fast as it says right here. So I can come back to OBS and I can go ahead and click on notepad. And I know that I didn't write, you know, the stuff for over uh eleven Mbps or seven Mbps, but I know that um my Wi-Fi is really good. So I can possibly do sixty FPS or if I want to set it to thirty, because I know my thing will lag, uh I can also do that. But in my case, I set it to 6,000 kbps. I know I can possibly do up to like 51,000. But 6,000, uh, because my PC is not the best, let's say that. Because I don't have a graphics card, um, and my, my PC is a low-end PC. So I'm going to set it to 6,000 kbps. And yeah, keyframe interval, you want to keep that to zero. Uh, that means it'll be auto, because uh, you probably don't, I, you don't have to bother this. Zero... It says that zero will be in auto, so OBS will just do it for you. The CPU usage preset, um, I set it to very fast. Uh, the higher it is, the less CPU it will use. You want to keep it from ultra fast, super fast, or very fast, either one of those. I set mine to very fast. Um, the profile should be at baseline, uh, tune none, and pretty much that's that. That's the output settings. Um, for audio, you want to keep your audio to 44.1 hertz for the sample rate and all of this that's up on screen right now. Alright, so now the video settings. Um, base canvas resolution. This is the resolution of your whole monitor that you're going to be showing. Mine is a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so I'm just going to keep it to that. And you want to keep the output to the same thing. So I'm going to keep these both to 1920 by 1080. And yeah, the downscale filter, I'll keep it to by cubic and sharpen scaling at 16 sam samples. Um, there's another one. I think it's 32 samples. You can also do that. But this one is perfect if you have a average low end PC. So yeah, the common FPS values, I'm going to keep it at 30. Because, again, I don't have, you know, the best PC out there. 
Um, you can do 60 if you think your PC will be able to handle 60 FPS uh, all the time. Go ahead, by all means. But I'm going to set mine to 30 FPS. It works perfectly. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the settings. Um, and I'm going to keep, leave a link to this in the description down below. So you guys can check that out later. Uh, and yeah. Alright, so that's going to be the end of today's video. Uh, hope these settings did help you. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.